Hi folks, welcome to one more linked list problem. So in this problem, we need to find an intersecting point between two linked lists. So we have two linked lists going there and then at one point of time, they intersect each other and then they become single linked list. So our job is to find that node where both the lists intersect. So let's look at the example. So we have one list at 135 and then 5.nexus20. And the other list is uh, even numbers 2, 4, 8, 12, 14, 16, and then 16 next is 20. And then onwards, they become one list. So like 20 dot next is 30, 30 dot next is 40, and then 40 dot next is null. So we need to return 20 because that's the node at which they both intersect. So difficulty level on this one is easy. However, I would say it's on the verge of being medium, but it's still easy. Like, So if you look at the problem and if you try to figure it out, it looks challenging, but once we figure out how to do it and what's the trick behind it, we'll find we'll realize that oh yeah, that makes sense. That's easy. So let's do that. Let's go to the whiteboard. Let's figure out the approach. Let's figure out the trick behind it, and then come back and run the code. Okay, guys. So we're going to take these two lists from our problem description, and we are going to figure out how we can find out this node twenty where both the list intersect. So. Uh, I'm sorry for the zigzag list. My whiteboard is a little small, so I couldn't have straight one. So that's why I had like zigzag. So, uh, but as we can see, our list one is a smaller list, right? It only has six nodes. However, our list two, which is like four, eight and three, 11 nodes, and they both intersect at 20. So uh, no matter what the problem is in linked list, like it's typical of like, if you have to find a cycle or if you have to find where they intersect, you need to have two pointers and then we need to make sure that they reach at that node at same point of time. So that's how we can find out whether it has cycle, whether they intersect and whatnot. So let's try to do that. Now we know that if we have one pointer here and if we have one pointer here, if we start moving them to next, they'll reach at 20 at different point of time. Uh, so that doesn't give us anything. So what we'll do? So there's a neat trick to it and let's see what we can do. So what we'll do is as soon as any pointer reaches to the end of the list. So let's say this list one pointer, we say that this is node one pointer and this is node two pointer, right? So we say that if node one reaches to null or end of the list, we'll say that, okay, node one start traversing list two now. So, and likewise, if node two reaches the end, we'll say node two start traversing list one. So let's see what happens. So let's say this node one, it starts traversing, right? One, two, three, four, five. So once node one is here, this node two would have reached one, two, three, four, five, and node two would be here. So what will say node one start traversing list two. So this will be node one and node two will move to next one, right? And now what we'll do is <coughs> node two will start move traversing, right? And so one, two, three, four. So node two will reach here after four traversal. And in meantime, node one will be one, two, three, four. Node one will be here, right? So now node two has reached to the end of the list. And what will say node two? You go to the start of the list one. So node two will be here and node one will be here. So now both the nodes are traversing the other list. Now notice what will happen. Node one is three node away from that intersecting node. Node two is also three node away from intersecting this node. So one, two, three, node one will be here. And one, two, three, node two will be here. And that's our node that we want. So the moment they both reach to the common node, we say that that's our intersecting node. So what we do, we take one node, start traversing the list as soon as it hits the end of the list, we say that start traversing the second list. So that's our code. We take node one, node two, starting from the heads. And then we say until they both reach the same place, keep looping. And till node one doesn't hit null or the end of the list, keep doing node one dot next. And as soon as it reaches null, go to the second list. And likewise for the second node. So uh, that's algorithm, that's our visualization. But still like if you still have question uh, let's give it one more round okay so 
what we did so this was our node one right so what did node one do node one traversed the whole list so that's like uh six nodes and then it traversed till here right so one two three four eight and nine so it traversed all in all uh, 15 nodes right now let's count how much did node 2 traverse right 4 4 8 and 3 11 right and then it came here and it traversed 4 nodes so it also traversed 15 nodes and they both reach at the same place at the same time so they both traveled 15 nodes and they both reach at the same time so that's the logic so let's try to put a math mathematical formula around it like just similar way but different representation so let's say our this is our list one right so let's say now this three nodes are common to both the list right uh, list two list one they both have these three nodes so if i want to calculate the length of list one i'll say x1 plus y now this is my x1 and this is my y and the length of list two i'll say this is my length of so this is my x2 so i'll say x2 plus y so that's my list two's length so now what will happen right okay so my node one what it does is it travels this x1 plus y right x1 plus y completes the list and then it comes here and then start traversing till x2 right so that's my node one's travel path now what is my node two's travel path it starts traversing here it finishes the list so x2 plus y and then it comes here and then it travels x1 now we notice these both are equal x1 plus y plus x2 x2 plus y plus x1 and that's the formula that's the logic we just implemented that they both are traveling same number of nodes and they both reach at intersecting node at the same time so that's the algorithm short and sweet code so now that you know the trick you know this formula now you can realize that yes this problem is really easy so there you go guys uh, that's the easy problem to find intersecting two linked list so let's go to the computer let's run the code and uh, let's make sure that we get this 20 as our output okay folks this is our uh, final code to find the intersecting node between two lists this is uh, similar to what we discussed on the whiteboard so the important part was what we did on the whiteboard if you guys understood that, understood the approach, then this is just a matter of coming and implementing it. So still, let's run it. Let's make sure that we get 20 as our intersecting node. So there you go. Uh, we do have C Sharp and Java code over there. The link to both the code would be there in the description. You guys can take it. Uh, if you guys want, run it against your custom test case, make a feel of it, get the code your own thing, and then uh, try it out. So guys, if you like the video, if you guys learned some cool things, then give me thumbs up. Uh, let me know your feedback and suggestions in the comment and then subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in next one.